This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Run this program to see what it does. Well, that's easy enough. Run. And it does nothing. Nope. Look down here. Hi. This is a very simple program. You can <laughs> display text and quotes, but you can also display numbers like this. Ooh, 100. Oh, and see, we can watch it run, the yellow. Cool. So this is called a council. And, well... All programmers eventually need to use the council to output different information, such as text like this. Let's see what it says now. Why do you think some information is in quotes and other... Oh, and some is not. Well, let's see. Add two lines of code. One that displays a string. A string, remember, is a line of text. So anything with quotes down here, that's what they're calling a string. And that's because, well... That's a string. So strings have tech, have quotes around them, and that lets the computer know all of these characters are together. And one that displays a number, and that would be called an integer, normally. Okay, so one that displays a string. Okay, cool. Um, this. And a string could be one word or two letters or a whole sentence. This is a string. The important thing is that we have them in quotes. And then one that displays a number. For the number, keep in mind, look how they display a number up here. So you don't want your number in quotes. Because the string can also have a number in it, right? That's still a string. It's still in quotes. So we want to display a number. And sometimes we'll fight you on deleting the quotes. Let me see if I can make it. Yeah. What helps me is sometimes I go back behind them all and then hit backspace and it will let me do it. So and I'll put my favorite number, which is 13. All right. Let's see if it works. No, wait, I didn't do it. Keep working. Reset run. Let's speed it up a bit. This is a string 13. Woohoo! And we did it. So, awesome. We're going to be working more with variable types as we go, and it makes more sense the more practice you have. Anyways, onward.